Binge the full week of The Ray Taylor Show ad-free over at InspiredDisorder.com slash plus. This is The Ray Taylor Show. KGF Chapter 1 is the movie I watched and I'm going to talk about in this episode. I've been watching a lot of Indian films uh, the past couple months. I've been watching and reviewing a lot of Indian films, and I have loved every one of them. Uh, I love this one as well, uh, but this one is probably the first where I have maybe the most uh, critiques for. Uh, I have issues with. Uh, there are problems. Now, I have problems a little bit with the movie itself, with the story itself. Not really the overall story, but the way the story is told. But I have massive problems with the fact that I had to watch this on Amazon Prime. Uh, which I'm grateful that I have uh, access to these movies. Uh, so far, all the movies I've watched, aside from one that I purchased, uh, I've been able to watch on Netflix. Uh, this being the first movie I've seen on Amazon Prime. And I have to say, Amazon Prime is kind of garbage. Uh, which has nothing to do with KGF, the movie itself. But just a disclaimer... For anybody that does want to watch this movie, it is available. However, be warned, uh, the experience of watching this movie is going to be a bit of a headache. Uh, at least it was for me. And part of that was um, a couple things. The audio, for some reason, is blown out. I don't know what Amazon Prime does. It didn't seem like this movie was dubbed in any way, but it sounds like the audio very blown out, just not great audio quality. But the biggest problem I have is with the subtitles. One, the subtitles are horribly translated. The the just the it it feels like the subtitles were generated by an AI. Like it is a one for one Google Translate of things people say. And it's not really worded in a way that flows very well. Uh, so I had a problem with that. Also, the subtitles move exceedingly fast. I am not a fast reader to begin with. Uh, in the majority of Indian films that I've watched, I regularly need to pause in order to read the subtitles. Uh, this movie, uh, I had to pause and rewind many times because the subtitles will flash on the screen for like a fraction of a second instead of like giving a full translation of what's being said it will just do chunks of what's being said and flash them on the screen and i'm constantly having to pause i had to watch this movie on my tablet because when you pause on the tv through my apple tv amazon prime has this feature where uh it's called x-ray that shows you all of the actors that are in the scene that you're watching and that x-ray feature pops up right in front of the subtitles. So as I'm trying to watch this on my TV and I hit pause so I can read what people are saying and trying to decipher what people are saying because the translation is so poorly done, uh, I can't watch it. So I end up having to watch it on my tablet where that x-ray feature shows up on the side. So it, does, it, didn't, it didn't block uh, or obstruct the, the subtitles uh, on my tablet. So I had to watch it on my tablet. So a very difficult watching process of this movie. Uh, and then there are aspects of the movie that uh, that made it a little bit confusing as well. In addition to the whole subtitle fiasco. Uh, this movie, like many Indian films that I've watched, is over two hours. This is uh, two hours and 36 minutes. This is the first movie where I feel like that... The runtime of this movie easily could have been under two hours. Uh, there is an there are aspects of this movie that just don't seem to need to be there. There is a love story aspect of this movie that seems like it really it just feels out of place. I don't buy it whatsoever. Uh, this love story between Rocky and like the daughter of one of the mob bosses. I don't buy it. It just it it feels out of place. Like even the character himself turns into this like almost like Ryan Reynolds character where he's being jokey and like funny and like quippy and like it just it doesn't fit whatsoever. Doesn't need to be there. 
there's also a lot of layers of storytelling where it's like the movie starts off with like this guy telling this woman this story, the overall story. But even within the story, there's like another interview that's happening. There's a lot of time jumps that are very confusing. There's just a lot of layers to this movie that don't seem to need to be there that take me out and that that make it a little bit more confusing where I don't really know where I'm at in the story sometimes. Uh, which that could have been exacerbated by the fact that I'm constantly having to pause and rewind and read and translate the translation of the subtitles. So out of all of the movies, this one felt difficult to get through. However, I did love this movie. Um, This movie really does pick up about halfway through the movie it really gets to the meat. A lot of it is set up. A lot of it, we're getting to know this character, Rocky. We're getting to see where he came from. We're getting to see him get to the place where things really feel like the rubber hits the road, where he gets to the mining camp, um, and things really seem like they take off. Uh, like it, All of the stuff before the mining camp, it felt like it could have been edited down to like a half hour maybe an hour you know just a lot of that stuff didn't really need to be there but whatever once it got there i really enjoyed it and how this movie ends is amazing uh like it really picks up once he hits the mining camp it really picks up um this movie overall i enjoyed the movie i mean i love the 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 one thing i love about the the indian films that i've watched is the the overarching themes uh that the movies have and this one in a lot of ways reminds me of my the last week i uh reviewed uh gangubai uh kathiawadi great movie um and a movie that similarly to this one where it's kind of a rise to power a character who's in some ways starting from a deficit uh and 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 finding their inner power in order to gain power and influence uh and in this movie our main character is rocky which is not the character's real name is is a brand basically like the way this guy structures his life is in order to maximize his potential at gaining power, at gaining riches, because that is what his mom's dying wish was, that he would he would die with power and wealth, because dying poor and, and like, impoverished and powerless is a horrible way to die, and, like, you should gain success. And early as a child, like, there's this thing where it's like, if you beg for money, you get just very little money. But the way to get lots of money is to be in power and people in power uh, get a lot of money. So I really did enjoy the overall themes of the movie. I did enjoy the action in this movie. This is an action crime drama film. The action moments of this movie are amazing. The score that that kind of signifies when the action's going to happen are like get you like I'm like yes I every time I hear the score and I know the action's about to pop off you get those amazing slow motion moments it it I get so excited cuz that is by far where this movie shines is in the action moments um and then there's little bits little bits of the side story little bits of the main story of Rocky his his kind of philosophy that he learned from his mom the fact that he puts himself constantly throughout this movie rocky is putting himself in danger actively going towards the danger in order for him to get closer to the person of power in every situation even in the scene where okay i'm going to spoil aspects of this movie obviously because there's things i want to talk about it but overall good movie aspects of the movie could have been changed could have been cut out completely and i would have been completely fine maybe in chapter two the love story that is kind of part of this movie for some reason is ends up making more sense but the fact that she falls in love with him makes no sense whatsoever i don't buy it The, the tonal change when he's around her how he's like 
super charming and stuff all of a sudden just feels like everything feels out of place with the love story in this movie but aside and then the time jumps is a little confusing the the different layers of the storytelling within this movie are confusing aside from that stuff the meat of this movie is great as far as the action fight scenes are amazing uh the overall story of it is amazing so that aspect i like but fight the first movie i've seen indian film i've seen where it's like ah, i could see them cutting cutting that stuff out which like love stories seem to be a standard like every movie has to have seemingly has to have a love story component um and in all the other movies i found that they were able to justify those love story aspects in a way that's satisfying in the whole of the story whereas this movie i felt like the fir- for the first time things could have been cut out but him putting himself in danger, like there is a scene, a part of that love story, where he's like, you know, surrounded by gangsters, and he's this badass that's able to do everything. And like, he makes this deal that's like, if I'm able to touch you, this woman, then, you know, you will be mine. That's what she says. If you're, if you're able to get by all of these guys that she's surrounded by with guns, and you're able to lay a hand on me, then I will be yours, which is okay whatever but how he goes about doing that which i don't think he ever actually does but he shows that he can uh is pretty impressive and it's just another example of how he's able to he literally puts himself at the center of the danger whether it's in that moment where he floods the room with gasoline right smoking a cigarette where it's like listen if you take me out we're all gone and then he can just effortlessly stroll up to her. Or if it's when he's a kid and the, the gangster he's working for, Shining Shoes, you know, offers to like, hey, who wants to go hit a policeman? And he like, he volunteers in every scenario, he volunteers to be put into the danger in order to grow his brand, in order to get close to the the one in charge the person who has the power and even how this movie ends even in the ending of this film he puts himself again not only when he gets into the slave mining camp you know beating all these people in this awesome fight scene this motorcycle grenade beating up these guys that are on motorcycles just killing everybody and then he locks himself into shackles in order to be transported into this gold mine not only that aspect of him putting himself in danger but also at the very end of this movie where he puts himself in the shackles in order to get close to the guy who is going to be crowned king or whatever right in every aspect time and time again through this movie rocky is putting himself in the most dangerous position in order to get as close as possible to the person of power which i appreciated that that kind of idea and how this movie is constantly using that idea throughout the movie uh is is great let's take a little break from the ray taylor show to promote my live art streams that's right i am an artist as well as a podcaster and i paint live every thursday at 4 20 pacific time head on over the best place ever for streaming youtube.com slash inspired disorder that's right every thursday at 4 20 you can watch me paint the many faces every week i paint seven new faces of abstract portraits ink on paper and you can watch that happen you can hang out with me while i listen to a classic episode from one of my favorite podcasts head on over to youtube.com slash inspired disorder and check it out say hi let's hang out let's have some fun and let's paint some faces now let's get back to the show all of the things about you know gaining power like he's kind of working his way up the ladder to try and find out who the the guy is and of course it's like this family thing that's running this gold mine and how there's even within the family there's drama within the family of people wanting to take over there's issues with politicians that want to shut him down like it's there's a lot of precarious aspects to the reality of this situation that are involved as he is going through kind of taking over and there's a lot of aspects of this movie showing how badass rocky is 
which I like. All of those aspects, I think he's a bad, like, I buy him as a badass. The fight scenes are amazing. Him putting himself in danger in order to do exactly what he wants. The messaging of his mom where it's like, you know, being, having a gang around you to make yourself feel powerful is not what you want. You want to do all of these things on your own. And if you do those things on your own, you will inspire the people around you. That is how you lead. You lead by example. You don't need because that's that's how you're going to get an army to support you and how all of those things come together. The the lessons that he learned from his mom, the experiences that he learned from his his life and and all of the things that he's done, his abilities that he has all come together at the very end of this movie in a, a, a powerful moment, a powerful moment. There's aspects within when he gets to the mining camp where I think this movie really takes off, where it almost becomes like kind of a Mission Impossible movie, where it's like the mission is for him to get in and take out the, the guy in charge, to get into the main house and take out the guy in charge. And he only has part of the puzzle and when he's in the mining camp he has to figure out how to he has to learn the other pieces of the puzzle to get in and and this master plan kind of a thing and the way it's executed is brilliant the way everything kind of comes together is brilliant the fact that he is kind of this in some ways like a bahubali kind of a guy where he's like he's there's like he is the one that is there to save these these slaves that are working at this mining camp. I enjoy that as well. Definitely had a very Bahubali kind of a feel to that. Um, very Mission Impossible feel. And it's just, it's brilliant. And, like, there's scenes that I love, like, even when he was a kid. And it's like he's going to, you know, smash a bottle on this cop's head. You know, putting himself in danger. Right. So that his boss can see that he's willing to do anything to work up the ladder to to be the guy. Right. He's will, will willing to volunteer as a child to go attack a police officer. And then even after he does it, he knows it's like like this means nothing unless that cop knows it was me. Like like brand recognition, growing his brand as a a as a monster. Right. He's not a gangster because he's not part of a gang. He does everything on his own. He is a monster to grow his brand as Rocky being a monster. The cop needs to know. So not only does he run all the way back to where this cop is now, like released his, you know, sent his 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 other his coworkers after him. But like he smashes another bottle on his head. He's like, you will remember my name. It is like there are some massively badass moments in this movie. Like definitely has like aspects of like Michael Bay kind of badassery. The the action scenes, the the kind of the 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 I don't know. It, it it's just amazing, amazing, and it really like I said picks up. About halfway through when he actually when he fights all of the guys in the sand dunes with the motorcycles and then he he you see him put the shackles on himself to sneak in as one of the newly captured slaves to go work in this gold mine and it's like just another example of him putting himself in the worst possible danger where he's going to be at this slave camp 12 hour shifts don't raise your head the animals have the people in cages. We are, you know, 12 hour shifts. We're working 900 feet under the ground. It is just like a hell, hell existence. 20,000 slaves being, you know, watched over by all these different guards. And just like putting himself in that situation in order to like just learn, get more intel on how to get into this, this place. And how he's able to turn everything around and get everybody behind him. It is badass. Not only the fight where it's like the initial fight where he takes on the guards by himself. You know, because of the blind guy, you know, they execute anybody that's no longer going to be beneficial to the mining camp. So if you if you go blind, if you're like a, you know, a woman or whatever, like all these things. 
and he takes the takes on all the guards which is badass and then he goes down into the mine itself and it's almost like a horror movie except for you're rooting for the monster he is the monster in this horror movie and the guards are the ones that are slowly being picked off in the darkness by rocky it's great it's great Let's take a little break from the show to promote the many faces. That's right. I am also an artist. I do ink paintings on paper of abstract faces. A new face, a new painting gets released every single day over at InspiredDisorder.com. So head on over to my website to purchase original artwork directly from the artist. Also, there are prints available for select images head on over to inspireddisorder.com buy original art buy prints if that's your jam if you want eight by ten prints on high quality paper also if you're looking to wear some art there are shirts available with original artwork by myself select faces from the many faces are also available in t-shirt form you go to inspireddisorder.com you buy original artwork you buy prints you buy shirts You're supporting an artist directly. And if you're the type of person that likes to invest in NFTs, there are also NFTs available for select faces. Go to InspiredDisorder.com now. And now let's get back to the show. Even like this situation where it's like, okay, he he is able to take, take out all of the guards in this part of the prison camp. Right. And then the bosses know in the main house and they're like, OK, we're going to send the we're going to send our guards to go take care of Rocky. The other people that are involved in this conspiracy to take over the mining camp. In an effort to protect Rocky in an effort to divert the attention away from that kills the, the man in charge. To like everything, all of the pieces come together in such a great way to where even when the end happens where you see rocky again what he does putting himself as close to danger as possible it it comes out of nowhere and it's brilliant when you see like this ceremony that's happening for this guy who's going to be the new guy in charge to take over for the dad that died He's going to be the new guy in charge of this, and there's this massive ceremony going on where he's beheading prisoners. And the slow motion of Rocky coming out of the water and the reveal of everything that just happened, it's like a moment where you're like, you're like, holy shit, he, he did. Of course. It's what he's done his entire life. That's how he got into the mining camp. It makes perfect sense. Like he broke into the house in order to shackle himself again. He went to the mining camps and defeated all the guards to shackle himself to get into the mining camps. Like he's constantly doing these things that seem like they are destructive to his goal, but end up being the most beneficial aspect to what he wants to accomplish. It's great. It's it's like... And just the epicness of all of these action scenes with the great slow motion, you know, the over the top kind of superhuman strength that Rocky has, people flying through the air, flipping through the air, just great. All of the aspects of that are great. The, the, the other slaves that, I mean, it's clear that he is the one, he's like literally rising above all of the other slaves just by standing up tall like you can tell that he is the one right he is the prophesized one to save them all and you know as far as like when they're trying to find out who the guy is who who went into the information thing and checked on the map and all that stuff and it's like clear that like who the guy would be that they sent in to infiltrate the slave camp Like, if you look at all of the slaves and you see Rocky, who's standing above all of them, who's, like, buff and strong and suave and all of that, and it's like, of course, that is the guy. So that aspect, you know, whatever. It's an act. That that part, I was like, whatever. The love story, did not care about at all. 
the fact that she's like crying over him dying it just i don't like i don't buy it i don't buy it at all it doesn't need to be there at all when he first sees her and he's like drunk are acting drunk and like beating up everybody and he's already referring to her as like th- as if they're married it's like oh we are i'm your brother-in-law you're protecting your brother-in-law you know like i mean it's it's interesting but it doesn't need to be there tonally it takes everything out when he when she's going with her gang to go track him down to beat him up and he ends up beating up everybody and ends up being her driver as well and they're driving along and there's a woman with a a baby and she drops one of the muffins and he stops traffic in order like you see that he has heart and i guess that's the moment we're supposed to believe that she falls in love with him it's like oh he has a heart of gold it's like okay but none of that needs to be there doesn't at all but whatever i really did enjoy this movie i like it really comes alive in the second half uh and uh you know even the moments in the second half where it's jumping out of the story it wasn't despite the fact that they didn't need to be there like all of that aspect of it doesn't need to be there as far as the guy telling this woman the story and then the camera crew around him getting all invested in the story and like cheering on rocky and all this stuff like none of that stuff needs to be there but it is what it is i really enjoyed it i'm excited to see chapter two apparently there are more chapters that are going to be coming out of this story this epic tale apparently um but how it ends at, at the at this one is pretty great and it's clear that he's not done yet he's got his army of slaves he is potentially in line to be taking over this gold mine maybe maybe that's in the next movie him fighting off the other people that have invested interest the politicians and the other you know competing families and all this stuff that want to have access to this gold mine um but yeah overall it took a while to get into it it was a tough watch uh specifically at the fault of amazon but getting past all of that i really enjoyed the movie and by the end i'm super excited to watch chapter two uh which will be next week so kfg uh kgf i mean uh check it out on amazon like i know it's the struggle the first part of it but you'll it'll it'll start clicking and hopefully maybe the device you watch amazon prime on won't obstruct the the subtitles like it did me and maybe you're faster at reading than i am um but it will pick up it does pick up about halfway through the movie and it's a definitely a great watch from then on and uh i'm excited so anyway check it out kgf New episodes of The Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on YouTube and everywhere our podcasts are found. Binge the full week over at InspiredDisorder.com slash plus. Buy Ray Taylor Show merch over at InspiredDisorder.com. And follow the show on Instagram at Ray Taylor Show. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace. Out! Today is the day where you wake up and you realize that everything that you've been dreaming about, everything that you've been wanting, every goal and wish and hope that you've ever had can become real. Dreams can come true. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality.